Hello everyone and welcome to another notable chess game from the 19th century of chess. And I believe this game in the last position is a perfect game for finding the mate pattern. A very beautiful chess game for using as a chess puzzle and you will see why in the end. So in this chess game white is Ludwig Bledov and his opponent is Karl Schoen. This game was played in the first half of the 19th century, one of the notable chess games of the 19th century of chess. The game was played in 1839 in Berlin, Germany. And by the way, Ludwig Bledov was not a joke. He was one of the strongest players. Actually, he was the strongest player in the 1840s. And his opponent, Karl Schoen was a painter and also he was a chess master for his time. And Ludwig Bledov starts the game with playing e4. We have e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, the scotch game. Schoen captures the pawn, e takes on d4. Bishop to c4, the scotch gambit, not capturing back. But we have d6, not defending. Well, bishop to c5 is playable. So we have d6 and then c3. And Ludwig Bledov is sacrificing his pawn in order to activate his pieces. A very aggressive opening for Ludwig Bledov, the strongest player in the 1840s in Germany. So maybe, of course, if bishop to c5, Bledov would still play it, c3 and indeed c3 is the best move in this position. More active move. We have d takes on c3 and then knight takes on c3. h6, queen to b3. And now Bledov is attacking on f7. Queen to d7, defending with the queen. Bishop to b5, pinning the knight. a6, attacking the bishop and asking the bishop a question. Well, Bledov played queen to a4 and he says, if you capture my bishop, I will capture your rook. And in this position, Schoen captures the bishop. A takes on b5. And then queen takes rook. But we have knight to b4. And threatening to play knight to c2, forking the king and the rook. So that's why Bledov simply castled knight to a6. Knight takes on b5. Knight to f6. Well, of course, if queen takes knight, obviously queen takes on c8. So the knight is a bait. But of course, the knight is a very obvious bait. So we have knight to f6 as a strong player for his time. Karl Schoen didn't capture the knight, of course. e5, attacking the knight. Knight to d5. e takes on d6. Knight to b6. And attacking the queen. We have rook to e1, check. If something like queen to a7, then queen takes on b5. And this time, the knight is not a bait. Black could capture the knight. So this is why we have rook to e1, that's check, king to d8. And then d takes on c7, that's check. Knight takes on c7, queen to b8, defending the queen. So after queen to b8, Karl Schoen happily captures the knight. Queen takes on b5. Well, if knight takes on b5, then bishop to f4 and threatening to play rook from a to d1 or e to d1. So bishop to d6. Bishop takes bishop and knight takes on d6. Rook from a to d1. Knight from b to c4, but b3. After b3, Black is in trouble. So after queen takes on b5, we have bishop to f4, knight to a6. And in this position, white has the flexible position. And the king's safety is compromised for black, which is very obvious. So after knight to a6, Karl Schoen is attacking the queen. And can you find the mating pattern? in this position. Well, we have rook from a to d1, that's check. 
After blocking with the knight, there is checkmate in two moves. There is force checkmate. So can you find the moves? That's why I called this game a perfect example as a chess puzzle for finding the mating pattern. So can you find the force checkmate? If I give you five seconds, what would you do? So obviously this is not a difficult solution, of course, this is very easy, but can you find it? What would you do in this position? So I'm assuming that you have already find the winning moves in this position where Ludwig Bledov sacrificed the queen. Queen takes on c8. And the only move is king takes on c8. And then Bledov played rook to e8. Checkmate. What a beautiful checkmate. Look at the final position. Beautiful. Where Karl Schoen, as a painter, could use this game in his paintings. Because this game was a piece of art. What a beautiful chess game from the 19th century of chess. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.